What's up everybody? ATL Resale Guy here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is Monday, February 8th. I've got some orders that I'm going to show pulling from the past week, as well as some footage from shopping at Goodwill and the thrift stores. So let's get right into it. Sold this Toshiba VHS player with no remote for $29.99 and shipping on top. Let's get over here to the shelf. So over here should have a Toshiba label somewhere. There's Toshiba. I listed this about a week ago, so it didn't take too, too long to sell. It's nothing fancy, just a old VHS player. I picked it up at Goodwill for probably like three or four dollars or so. It comes with the AV as well. And sold for 29 so after fees, about a $20 profit on that. Next is this copy of Nintendo Wii Sports. The disc only sold for $18.99 with free shipping. I'm going to go ahead and show this next item too because they're in the same spot. A lot of five PS3 Call of Duty games sold for $24.99 and shipping on top. These are over here in the media stack. Just listed these last night. So obviously they're priced good to sell. Uh, put together a few bundles, an Uncharted bundle, a Call of Duty bundle for Xbox 360, and there's my Modern Warfare bundle. Get to that without creating an avalanche. Five games there. And yeah, these, uh, these games are all in really good condition. Uh, a little bit of artwork nonsense going on there. But in terms of the discs for their age and the type of game, usually these things are beat up as far as Call of Duty games go because people played the crap out of those things. And this Wii Sports disc, this one has a little more surface scratching on it. That should pick that up. But it doesn't really matter. People buy this Wii Sports disc uh, all day, every day. It's easy, quick flip. So always look out for the Wii Sports. Sells for $20 uh, with the case and manual around $25. Got this Johnny Walker Blue duffel bag. Sold for $34.99 with shipping on top. This is going to be down here with some of the larger bags. I see it down there. Put some of this out. That is it. This one's been listed for a while. Uh, I probably bought this maybe six months ago or so. It's really cool. It's a duffel carry bag, leather. Got the uh, embossed logo on that leather. It's got a couple little uh, scuffs and loose threads and one little stain somewhere that I certainly noted for the buyer but all in all it looks good bought this for I think three bucks at Goodwill so a little less than 30 bucks after fees and cost of goods and sold this genuine Dell laptop charger $23.99 with free shipping I went ahead and prepped this one because it is down here with all the other laptop chargers. So I found it just to avoid sifting through that mess on camera. But uh, yeah, every now and again you come across one of these that's a little rarer and a little more valuable. And this is certainly one of them. I got this with that uh, large laptop charger bundle. Probably got about 50 cents into it. So decent profit margin on it. Also sold this Dragon Ball Z Saga's PlayStation 2 manual for $3.99 and economy shipping on top. Got this over here in the media. Excuse the mess, I am doing some listing today. I believe it's in this little guy right here. Let's see. Dump it around and see what we got. Yep, that's it right there. Pretty good condition. This came in a game that this was actually the wrong manual for the game that was inside. And when I was looking up this game just to see what was going on with that, 
I uh, saw a couple manuals only being sold, so I figured I'd go ahead and list it. And it was about two, three months ago or so, so I sold for a couple bucks. And this Stanton SMX201 uh, pitch shifter slider for $14.99 free shipping. I'm going to click over to a different picture as well. It's uh, this last one. This is a unit that I bought and it turned out not to work. So decided I'd piece it apart and take off some of these uh, uh, just pieces and try to sell those separately. And this is the first piece that has sold from it. I believe it's gonna be down here in miscellaneous junk. I think I put them all down here. There's the knobs for it. See if I can fish it out off camera. So here it is. It was hiding down here in the corner. I'd forgotten I'd already bubble wrapped it. But sold for $14.99 with free shipping, so that'll be about $10. Uh, already making profit on the non working device that I purchased in the first place. Alright, so the next portion of the video will be just a collection of a few items that I came across as I was sourcing this past week. A couple highlights. There's one really cool one that I wanted to share about midway through this next group of clips. So let's check it out. So here I am walking up to the Goodwill. This is going to be just a compilation of clips that I had put together over the last week. The item color of the day is red so all red tag items are 50% off that was a DVD VCR combo I would normally be interested in but they've got it marked pretty clearly that it was not for sale I thought that was funny this doll like I don't know is she yawning is she screaming looking through some DVDs and video games, the CDs as well. Didn't have any luck at this location. Came across these new with the tag pants, khaki capris uh, for $5.99. I wasn't, uh, I was thinking about it, but wasn't really interested. Mainly because they're khakis. I don't know how desirable khakis are. Fishing through some of the uh, flannel shirts. And I came across this fleece. It's like a third quarter zip up. Ralph Lauren polo fleece for $6.99. With a cool little like front pocket. Zip up front pocket. I don't normally see. And it looked like it was in good condition. I threw it in the cart. I ended up checking some comps. And there were some out there. I'll list it at... Uh, like $25.99 so before fees try to get a $20 profit on that a night visit to a different Goodwill this was after work I don't normally go there uh, after work but for whatever reason I decided to swing by this one and I'm sure glad I did I will tell you why in just a few minutes there's something in this frame that would be of interest to me. And I grabbed this. The Midland Weatherman Weathermax Plus. Uh, this caught my eye because I have one currently listed and they go a little over $20 or so. And it had the box. It looked like it was unused, unopened. So decided to go for it, threw it in there. Start fishing through this jumble of cords and come across a Wii U Pro Controller. They got it marked for $199. I figured there was money to be made on that. I'm guessing those go around like $25, $30 or so. So there is some profit to be made. Found two of them. Kept fishing through. And everybody knows these Nintendo branded accessory cables. 
199 I grabbed those looking through some more a dock charger for 199 grab that as well and the power brick for a Wii U so I'm thinking to myself I've got all these accessories there's got to be a Wii U somewhere around here so this is me looking 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 uh, trying to find the gamepad trying to find the console and lo and behold there we are the Wii U console it was right in front of me picked an item up right next to it and didn't even notice it before they are asking $2.99 for this Wii U console give it a once over decide that is uh, a good looking enough unit to grab so we've got our 299 console 199 controller 199 controller 199 accessory cable and the power adapter got all that for 11 bucks everything except for the gamepad which is what I'm looking for now it's a controller with a built-in screen it's actually the most valuable aspect of everything all together. I looked up and down left and right couldn't find it unfortunately. Over here at the golf clubs I'm looking for my tailor-maids. Came across this one. I think I ended up paying a dollar for that one. Usually they've got the sticker right there on the head. Uh, I think that was a red sticker and it was $1.99 so I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for that and found another tailor-made driver as well I ended up putting the ping back I'm pretty sure but kept the two tailor-made drivers I think those sell for around $20 or so this is a different thrift store and found us some Squishmallow for $1.99. This is Astrid, the purple unicorn. She's in good shape. I don't know if I zoomed out enough to see her. And this is Bobby Bunny, blue tie-dye bunny. He's pretty rare, actually. Um, between the two of those, should end up with about $30 profit before fees. I think I came across, yeah, I came across one more. This pink cat um, had a black mark right there on it. Another $1.99. I put it in the cart, but I'm pretty sure I, I didn't end up getting this one just because of that black mark on there. Back at a Goodwill now found a Toshiba VCR looking around for a price tag their prices are pretty standard on VCRs I paid $5.99 for that one looking around to see if there's anything else and I did test it while I was in the store if I don't have a TV to connect it to I'll stick a tape in there and listen check all the functions play stop fast forward rewind and just listen and make sure it's good and when it ejects make sure it doesn't eat up the tape and that one ended up good working grabbed this Sony boombox uh, these can sell for decent money that one I ended up testing it and couldn't get the tape player working I freeze framed right there because of that Singer sewing machine that I should have looked at Sewing machines can bring in good money, especially if you get them for cheap. Looks like a third party original Xbox remote, even though it does have the official Xbox logo on there. $5.99, couldn't do that. Dug down deeper, found a TI-83 with no cover for $8.99. I didn't end up getting that. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. ATL Resale Guy signing out. Peace.